Good morning, everyone. My name is Polly Lang, and I'm going to be doing a demonstration of painting. I do oil painting. I've been painting for oh, probably 15 years, um, and I did a lot of artwork in my super youth. Um, I'm going to demonstrate painting a still life today. Uh, I Unfortunately, I couldn't bring the still life, but I have... Uh, a grisaille, which means it's done in black and white, thin paint. And I'm also going to de do a quick demonstration of how to do a grisaille, but this is the scene I'll be painting. I have got photographs. Normally I prefer to work with, uh, uh, from life, in, you know, but sometimes it works okay with photographs too. What you will need for starting to paint will be an easel of some sort. You can get very inexpensive easels. This is a travel easel, but it, it works at home just as well. You will also need a palette for your paints. Now this is one type of palette. There are many different kinds of palettes. You can look in the art supply catalogs or online to figure out what palette you want to use. I know there are paper palettes as well as uh, wood palettes and other types. You're going to need, obviously, your paints. They come in small tubes, or you can get giant tubes. That's good for white, because you use a lot of white. Um, then you, this is where I keep the oil. All the paints are, most of the paints are made with linseed oil. So we use linseed oil later to thin down the paints or make them shiny. You, should have a palette knife. Now, some people actually paint with palette knives. I've done that too. Um, this is, I only brought today this basic palette knife, which I use for mixing colors sometimes. So this type of palette knife is good. If you want to paint with them, you can also see others in catalogs and supply of supply stores. You very importantly need OMS, which is odor-free mineral spirits, or odor, odorless mineral spirits. I call it solvent, but it's what you need to clean your brushes um, afterwards, but during the painting, you can just dip your brush in to a cup like this. You can also use a little glass jar, but I find this to be helpful, and just wipe it with a paper towel, um, or a rag. Paint rags are good. You, the rags should be such that they don't have lint in them. You're also going to need your still life setup. If you're doing a still life, you uh, can you take pictures of it and use reference photos, which I'm doing today, or you can paint from life. Okay, these are the colors that I use on my palette. This is burnt umber, and by the way, these four are earth tones. Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, Raw Sienna, Yellow Ochre. And then we have Naples Yellow, Cadmium Yellow Pale, Cadmium Yellow, Cadmium Orange, Cadmium Red Light, Cadmium Red, Alizarin Crimson Permanent, Dioxazine Purple, which by the way, I don't use all the time. Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, Viridian, which is a bluish green, Sap Green, Cadmium Green Light, Titanium Buff, which I use alternately with the white, and then titanium white. Now I use the buff close to the white because a lot of times I like to have a more neutral light color than, than the brightness of the white. Um, so these I use quite a bit and I use them to mix because you can see these colors are very dark so I use the whites and the buff to mix colors which is kind of the fun part of painting I think. 